Hello, this is Fruxius. So, as you see, Neos now has the finger tracking update, which essentially allows uh, for finger movement on the end of the avatars. And for most avatars, it should be automatically set up. But I have one here uh, where this doesn't set, uh, doesn't get set up automatically. So, let's actually have a look at the fingers and see why is that. So right now, Neos essentially it expects five finger bones, and it expects for each bone to essentially have at least uh, three segments, so essentially three bones per finger for the automatic detection to work. But if I look at the at the hyena hand, the issue is there's uh, actually one of the fingers is missing, and if I look at the bones, they each have only two segments. So there's a segment here, but the third one is missing. So this means like the hand setup doesn't get detected automatically, but it is still possible to set it up manually. So the first thing I need to do, I need to go to the hand itself. So this is the root of the hand. Uh, let's move this a little bit. And the, fir oop. and the first thing I need to do is attach a new component. So let's go to users, common, common avatar system, fingers and I will attach hand poser. There we go. And as you see, this is essentially the component that takes care of posing the fingers, and it has a bunch of, uh, bunch of properties here. So what I care about is essentially assigning the fingers themselves. So here's the thumb, it has a, and you can see the, the th each finger has metacarpal, proximal, intermediate, and distal bone. So these all don't need to be assigned for this uh, to work, technically. So we can actually assign them manually. So you see each finger, each segment has a root. So let's actually assign them. So for the thumb, uh, usually for the thumb, you actually want to have the metacarpal bone. And usually metacarpals, they are, they are the bones around this area. So for example, if you have a bone here, like for example, on this one, I actually have metacarpals. And for, for these fingers, they don't matter that much. There's lots of avatars that don't have them at all. Uh, but for the thumb, uh, the metacarpal is pretty important because it's right here. So we're actually go going to take this and we are going to assign the root of the metacarpal. Oops. Let's assign it here. And we need to assign the next one, which is the proximal. So let's assign the second one as proximal here. And you don't have any more bones. If you actually had more bones, so one thing to note is fingers don't have intermediate bones. So this one would be skipped for the for the thumb. The other bones they will have intermediate fingers, so you should all assign them in order. So this is this is good. So now we need to assign the index. And like I said, you see this actually starts at the root of the fingers themselves. If you had bones around like this area, those would be metacarpals. But um, since this one, this one starts right where the fingers start, this is the these are the proximal bones. So essentially, you have. Let me actually bring a better avatar for the showcase because I have a perfect avatar for showcasing which bones are which. So you see, um, so essentially these these are the metacarpal bones. This is the metacarpal for the for the thumb. Then this is the this is the proximal bone, intermediate, distal, and then, then there's the tip, which doesn't have a function for the fin finger tracking on the avatar itself. The thumb is a bit special case because you see essentially it has one bone less. So this is the metacarpal, this is the uh, proximal, and this is the distal. So these are the only, only ones that you assign. So the, inter the intermediate one or the middle one is skipped. So let me just get back, back into my avatar and let's continue the setup. So we are going to assign we are going to assign the other fingers from the proximal. So let's grab the index and let's skip metacarpal and let's assign first one and let's assign the intermediate. There we go. Since the, there's not enough fingers, it's not uh, you could actually experiment with the setup and you can try for example uh, skipping the intermediate as well and having the distal since this one only has two but I'm assigning them in order and I'll see how that works. So it has middle so let's assign the middle. So we have uh, proximal 
we have uh, intermediate. The thumb we have already assigned, and we have a ring ring finger. So the pinky one is missing. So let's do the same. Let's assign proximal, and let's assign intermediate. So now that I'm done with my setup, I actually need to initialize the rest of the fields. And you can see at the bottom, oops, at the bottom there is uh, there's initialize hand. So I'm gonna click this, and now this is done. And essentially, this component is now ready to pose the fingers. So see, all of the all of this information and references are now filled. Let's do the same for the other hand. One thing that's also important when initializing the setup is, oops, I went too far. One important thing when initializing the hand is that the fingers should be ideally in default resting position. If the fingers are curled, it'll still work. And uh, I made the heuristic in a way which does, uh, where essentially it can deal with some of that. But the more default the hand is, the better. So the same thing, we have the hand. Uh, let's assign transform interaction. Uh, what am I doing? Users, our system, fingers, and poser. There we go. So we're going to assign the same. So the thumb, we start with metacarpal and proximal. Then we have index. So let's just expand them all. So I have index. Index, I start with proximal, then the intermediate. Then we have the middle. So wait, which one? I'm grabbing the second one. Middle. And oops, I put it to the metacarpal. Let's put it here. Let's do this. And we have the ring finger last. So let's assign the ring finger and intermediate. Okay, looks good. Pinky is not there. I initialize the hand. Now this is all set up. And now just actually one more thing I need to do. Uh, I need to actually two two things. So you see there is a uh, uh, chirality, or chirality, or how is it pronounced? Essentially this means like whether this is the left or right hand. So this is the right hand, so I'm gonna change this. Oh, I shouldn't have done this actually. I made a mistake. So I need to I need to set the uh, chirality first. So actually I have it set up now, so let's just, let's just, uh, let's just reopen this. And initialize the hand again. So this should recompute all the factors. And this should be now ready. The hands are looking fine. And now actually another thing we need to do is because the hand poser it needs a source for the pose. And by default, like this is not set up automatically. So if we want to use this as an avatar, we need to attach a new component which will then link the hand poser to the information coming from, from the user. So I'm going to attach a new component. I'm going to go to transfer uh, users, common avatar system, fingers. And there's the avatar finger pose source assigner. So let's attach this. I'm going to take the pose source. And I'm just going to drop it over here as the target reference. I'm going to do the same one for the other hand. So let's go users, common avatar system, fingers. We have the avatar finger pose assigner. Let's grab the pose source. Let's drop it here. And we are done. So let's actually see if this works. So I'm going to equip this avatar. And you see, now my fingers are moving. So I can, this is my middle finger, index finger, my thumb. Thumb is also moving. I can ball my hands into a fist. I can make some simple gestures. So this is all working as it should. And this avatar is now set up with finger tracking. So no matter what actually what uh, finger tracking device you use, it will work with all of them. So once there's also leap motion support, doctoral touch support, or any other finger tracking solution, this avatar will now work with those solutions without any extra adjustments. So I can take this one and I can save it back into my back into my inventory, and I have a version working with the finger system. 
So uh, let's just spawn a mirror real quick. Have a look. Uh, checked mirror. There we go. So you see, this one, this one is working. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. You should only need to do this for really unusual setups. So like when essentially when the system doesn't automatically detect the fingers. So you need to help it along a little bit, but uh, hopefully the process is uh, simple enough in those cases and you'll be able to get any of ours working with the new finger system. So thank you very much for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.